So, you got some relationship expectations that have not come to fruition. Why is that? I want to talk to you today about managing your relationship expectations because there are some people out there that have outlandish relationship expectations and I really have to blame several avenues number one the media number two social media and the things that we see plastered all over and a lot of it's just not true meaning all of the vacations that you're seeing or just all of the relationship goal pictures that you might be seeing I blame um, the romance novels and I also blame Disney movies. Yes, I said Disney movies because Disney movies will have you thinking that the happily ever after is the end when it's really the beginning, okay? None of us get to see the day in and the day out of the cartoon characters. And we think that the prince is going to come and swoop us off our feet or we're gonna lose a slipper and he's gonna come find us and we're gonna live happily ever after well they never show you what that happily ever after is now do they so <laughs> relationship expectations let's jump into it i have five things for you to think about and even start to think about changing them as well so the very first thing is to be mindful of what your expectations are like i was mentioning earlier so many people out here think that relationship expectations are what you have up here and they're automatically supposed to just appear within your relationship without any real, excuse me without any real conversations about what that really means for the both of you is usually one person that has this ideal of what relationships look like what they're supposed to be again supposed to be and when it doesn't play out that way you feel some certain type of way or you feel like you're being cheated and that's not necessarily true the truth it could be that your communication styles doesn't match up it could be that your communication is just sucky it could be could be that you just keep all this stuff up in your head and it could be that you think that your spouse is just supposed to know i.e him being a mind reader or her being a mind reader instead of you verbalizing what you need because most of us have been in several dating relationships and even some people marriages for that matter but we never have these real sit down conversations to say okay this is what I need out of this relationship for me to feel like I'm going to stay, to feel like I'm going to be happy, to feel like this that you're giving me the things that I need to be happy many people that i talk to including my clients are like oh no i've never had the expectations conversation but then they don't realize that's why they're not getting their needs met you've never shared you never verbalized the things that you need in order to be happy in order to want to stay in that relationship so you have to know you, you have to um, be mindful of what your expectations actually are and then even verbalize them once you know what they are like you they have to be realistic it can't be that okay he has to and I'm saying he because a lot of times this absolutely does come from the women I do men go through this too some men do but for the majority of the people that I coach the women are the ones that have these outlandish relationship expectations and when things are not going right they're like did I choose the wrong person or he sucks or what whatever the verbiage is at the time because they're feeling like their needs are not being met but then when I ask them that very simple question have you ever told him they're like what but I, but isn't he just supposed to know no 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 he's not and then here's the other thing what we do in one relationship might work super duper but what you do with another person your next relationship might not work at all or very few things that you did that was like smooth sailing from the last re relationship that worked out don't work this time around so you guys need to communicate I know we hear that a lot, but you truly need to have t those conversations so you can say, okay, I'll be happy here. So be mindful of what your expectations are. The second thing is don't be afraid to ask for what it is that you need. So you need to communicate those things, right? So you need to know what they are, be mindful. And then you need to ask for those things. You need to have those conversations and communicate and say, hey, I've been thinking about this. 
we've never had the expectations talk and i feel like some of the things that are happening in our relationship could come to a halt if we just had this conversation and so i want to share the things that i need out of this relationship and i want you to do the same thing right you want to give him the common courtesy or her the common courtesy to to uh to, to give you their list as well so you can supply their needs as well and then you guys have that conversation but ask for the things that you need because if you never ask you'll never receive like that goes together asking and receiving that goes together so if you're like number one i don't know what they are okay then you're never going to get them but then number two you know what they are but then you don't tell them okay you're never going to get them so you have to open up and share once you know share that conversation have it ask for it you deserve to ask for the things that you need so you can be happy in your relationship out of life period but definitely in your relationship number three <laughs> continue to navigate those changing expectations because one thing that happens in relationships and just life in general is that the only thing that's constant is change and so what you liked in your 20s might not be the same thing that you like or even need in your 30s or 40s and so if you're dating the same person then you need to do an update to your relationship expectations if you're not dating the same person this is the perfect opportunity for you to say you know what that thing i didn't mind that thing in my relationships in my 20s but in my 30s in my 40s and my 50s that's not what i need that's not what i want i'm like listen that did not work out for me and i'm able to say no no is a complete sentence be ready for some things to change in your relationship and most people get hung up because they're like I hate change. I hate change. Why do so many people hate change? That is the only thing that's constant in our lives. Think about on your job, like literally on my job. I'm gonna bring it to me. On my job, I work in a laboratory. Things are constantly changing. And if I was always complaining about all of the changes that they make from week to week, it seemed like week to week, it might not be, but it seemed like it is, I would be miserable. You have to be able to roll with the punches and the things that are gonna come to you in life and in your love life are you gonna like all of them nope no you're not but you have to be ready for them when they come because rest assured as soon as you get into your routine a change is gonna come okay you don't believe me here we go when you had your baby mm -hmm. before children in your single life you was able to do everything and anything that you wanted to do anytime that you wanted to do it it was all about you insert yeah i said insert insert your new child now it's really not about you anymore unless you're just one of those parents that don't care but i'm talking about the people that care um <laughs> and now it becomes about your child and sometimes this is a different video but i will mention it here sometimes we have a tendency to even put our partners on the back burner because now we're in this mom role and we're not nurturing the relationship any longer as well but that's a different video change is going to happen okay so you didn't believe me on the first child it's going to change again the more children that you have there's going to be constant changes within your love life as well as life in general you have to be able to navigate through those things well and be able to adjust to the changes that are absolutely going to come absolutely going to come let me hurry up because the light is leaving me i didn't bring the light out here the fourth thing never assume that your partner knows what you need this is why you have to ask this is why you have to update them this is why you have to have those conversations because they need to know and again you can stop feeling a certain type of way as long as you have the conversation and then keep it open for him or her to have the same conversation with you because just like you need your needs met your partner needs his or her needs met as well so you guys can feel like you're a partnership in a partnership and a team together it's give and take it's give and take so never assume that your partner knows never think that they have to be a mind reader on the things that you need in order to feel happy in that relationship manage your relationship expectations number five enjoy what your relationship looks like today not yesterday not in the future today 
think about and even keep a, a log, some people say a journal, of all of the great things every single day so you can see the beauty in your relationship instead of focusing always on the negative and again going to that sour puss phase sadness all the time because your expectations are not being met well how do you really know that they're not being met if you're only focusing on the on the bad number one and then number two you don't have anything as a tracker a log sheet a journal to say this happens all the time you know what i have been logging my stuff and it's a lot of bad stuff well you probably don't need to be there anyway if it's all if it's all bad you probably don't need to be there anyway manage your relationship expectations ladies and gentlemen so you can have a better love life i am marshawn olana your favorite life and relationship strategist and i help christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift you to feeling her understood and appreciated now if you need some one-on-one -on -one help with that definitely get in contact with me at marshawn at marshawnolaniol.com that's my email you can go to my calendly link and fill and fill out your appointment or, or you can just send me a DM. Those are a lot of ways to get in contact with me if you are ready and serious to stop feeling stuck and you're ready to move your relationship forward. And yes, there is an investment in that. Now, with that being said, for all of you out there, just like, you know what, let me figure out if I'm vibing with her or not. Check out my free relationship resource library. That is a free relationship guide that I created just for those times when you're looking for somebody to vent or talk to and nobody answers the phone. This guide is going to give you some quick answers, some quick, um, easy, practical strategies to implement into your love life so you can change your love life around again to help you manage those expectations and start looking for the good versus focusing on the bad. I love you guys and there's nothing that you can do about it and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye.